Dr. Tatum, thanks for sitting down. We're excited to find out about another opportunity for our local high school students. We're going to partner with our high schools and give them one more opportunity to earn some college credit to get them on the pathway to success. So I'm excited to learn more about the new Science and Engineering Academy. Can you tell me all about it? Sure. We're really excited to be able to offer it as well. And in the Science and Engineering Academy, it's for academically talented rising seniors. Um, and in the program, students will actually start the summer after their junior year, and they'll take summer courses and then two semesters during the regular year and then another summer. And over the course of those four semesters, they'll essentially get nearly a full year of college credit. There are two tracks that we have, one for people headed into the hard sciences like chemistry or physics or astronomy, and then a second track for people headed into the medical professions. Well, that would be med school or pharmacy, or maybe they want to go into nursing or occupational therapy. Great. And so how does the curriculum or the classes the students would take differ for those two tracks? Well, we've picked the courses um, so that they will transfer to the colleges that students are likely to go on to, and they're just basic foundational courses that students need. So in the hard science track, that means they're going to take a lot of math. It's three semesters of calculus and uh, possibly onto differential equations and three semesters of physics. And then for the medical side, instead of, uh, instead of as much math, they take a semester of math, they take some chemistry, and they take some physics. It's a different level of physics. It's the one that, that they want to see if you're headed into med school. That's great. So this is a new partnership where MCC is collaborating with the local high schools to make sure this works. But the students have lots of opportunities already to earn college credit in high school. They can do dual credit, they can do the advanced placement or the AP test, and now they can do this new academy test. So what type of student might this best fit for? Yeah, we do have a lot of good programs uh, already in place where we're cooperating with the high schools and where high schools have, have AP classes that are really made to help students be ready for college and to get sort of a head start. And I think this program differs in that it really gives students um, an authentic college experience. AP has college level material, but it's still taught at the high school and it's a little different to come to college and really get to see what a college course is like. Um, the courses that we're offering here, generally high schools aren't able to offer as dual credit. Many of them have labs and we have the lab setups that high schools don't have. We of course have our fantastic new science building. Students will get to come and, and see what it's like to be in a top-notch science facility like that. And I also think, if I think back on my own studies, by the time I got to my junior year I was a good student and I, I kind of felt like, boy, I was ready for, for something different. In my case, I left the country and was an exchange student. That was a little extreme. We want to provide an opportunity for students to still stay in McHenry County and get a head start on, on college that way. Great. So that's an affordable way for a student to continue their high school experience and also gain college credit and the college experience by coming in. And a lot of these courses that are in these tracks will be offered in our new Liebman Science Center. So what else do you want to tell us about the program? You know, the other thing that I think is exciting uh, about the program is the opportunity it gives for students um, to make a first step into college while still having all the support that, they, that they've established um, here and at home. So when you go off to college, there are a lot of new things. And when you couple those new things with the challenges of these courses, and these are really often sort of what they call um, gateway courses, or they're, they're ones where they expect people uh, not to make it through them, so chemistry and physics. When students can take those still in this environment where they have a lot of good support and they can take it at MCC where there are small classes compared to a really big class that you might get at a large university, I think the chances for success are, are really um, better for them. Great. So how do students find out more about this exciting program? We have a website and we'll put the website up so you can come and visit and uh, hope you like what you see.